It's Thursday, January 12th, 2023. For all Western New York news, I'm Scott Leffler. The National Weather Service calls for rain this afternoon with a high near 44. Tonight, more rain, then snow with a low around 29. On to the news. Looks like the Steel Akia Challenge is still going strong. On Wednesday, Niagara County Sheriff's deputies chased a stolen Kia Sorento through Wheatfield in North Tonawanda before it was finally stopped on Niagara Falls Boulevard in Wheatfield. A 20-year-old, an 18-year-old, a 16-year-old, and two 15-year-old Niagara Falls residents were all charged with possession of stolen property. The 20- and 18-year-old were also charged with endangering the welfare of a child. Also from the Niagara County Sheriff's Office, two people have been charged over a two-year-old child found unresponsive after having ingested fentanyl in April of 2022. The investigation into the home, parents, and circumstances of the two-year-old's cardiac arrest determined that the child ingested fentanyl. The child is receiving treatment and recovering. Meanwhile, a 20-year-old female was charged with assault on December 15th, and a 23-year-old man was charged with the same on January 9th. Erie County District Attorney John J. Flynn announced on Wednesday three additional arrests for crimes that occurred in the city of Buffalo and town of Amherst during the major snowstorm last month. As of today, a total of 11 defendants have been arraigned on various charges relating to store lootings. In sports, DeMar Hamlin was discharged Wednesday from Buffalo General Hospital, according to the Buffalo Bills. Jamie Nadler of Kaleida Health said Hamlin was safely discharged to continue his rehabilitation at home with the Bills. In a recently released article by Architectural Digest listing the best places to travel in 2023, Buffalo made the cut. Western New York's biggest city was just one of three American cities to be included in the list. The two other American cities to make the list were Baltimore, Maryland and Little Rock, Arkansas. And finally, a new record store and listening lounge is holding a grand opening in Niagara Falls tomorrow. Daredevil Records allows patrons to sample the wares before making a purchase and do so while having a cup of joe or a pint of beer. Cool concept. We wish them well. Okay, that's what we got, or at least what we're putting here. There's more news and more details on all these stories at allwnynews.com.